Yeah, when we look at um, what just transpired now two weeks ago with Ryan and, and Tank. Yeah. And it kind of just go to what you're saying, like all that work that, that both gentlemen put in, you know. Obviously, both of those guys, and even in the moment, you got to initiate a game plan. You got to make adjustments. You got to, you know, take them licks and keep moving through it. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot that goes into this. And it's like I said to you today, like, we're going to talk some more about Tank and Ryan and kind of what people have been saying about this fight since everything happened. And, and I don't want to come to the rescue. I don't want to seem like I'm coming to the rescue, but I probably have the best view of anyone that could be talking about this fight and articulating the ins and outs, the the, the whys and wins and the hows and, and all of those things. And I just find myself looking at this and I'm like, you got a kid that uh, is only 24 years old. And realistically, what I tried to, the picture that I tried to paint last week is we had an A plus fighter in the ring with a B minus fighter on a bad day, a C plus fighter. And you choose what kind of day he was having against Tank the other day. You know what I mean? I'm gonna tell you what conflicted me. And again, see, this is this it goes back to Were you in the in the in the stadium for that one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was there. I was there. Yeah, yeah like, like I said, I was there. Yeah, hey, listen, you it was a, you was closer than I was. <laughs> I will guarantee you. It that. was the spring of 2023. <laughs> I was there. Yeah. No, uh, what the fandom in me got caught up in hoopla of what was going on, but the yeah. the boxing media guy of me started saying, okay, well, I'm 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 delving into the details of this fight. Okay, he's good, but he's really not supposed to beat Tank. Yeah. But when you interview a Goosen, man, I'm going to tell you something. Goosen will have you, <laughs> baby, I'll call. Baby, baby. we're going to bet the house on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. Goosen, when Goose, especially when Goosen hit me with the, you know, after, you know, after over 50 years, you know, I have never had, I'm telling you, somebody made some bets off that, just that comment. Yeah. Like, this yeah. is Goosen. Yeah. Yeah. But again, I know the, the importance of selling the fight as well. Uh, with that said, Ryan is a special fighter. Yeah, he has heart, but I can give him credit. I didn't. I, I didn't. He. I seen a lot of people come in scared of Tank, sort of like uh, when when Tyson fought. People came in. Brian wasn't scared of. Him. Yeah, but I believe when he caught some of those blows, and even after he got caught, yeah. I believe that's saying, okay, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, we we really here now. You ever been driving? And you're from DC, so I'm mm-hmm. gonna just. This is an analogy, but I'm sure you can. You can um, relate to this. You have been driving and out of nowhere, it just started raining. Yeah. What you got to do? Now, back in the day when I was in Ohio, we didn't have, my car at least, didn't have no automatic windshield wipers. I got to, while I'm driving and it out of nowhere, I got to find a windshield wiper. I got to make sure everything else is good. Now, I got to turn the lights on. There's so many different things you got to do after that first big crack. And people that don't drive in the rain or aren't used to it just out of nowhere, you're going to look at it and say, oh, he just got dropped. Yeah. It just, the thunderstorms just started. But see, that's, see, that's the thing. Unless, that's why I always um, trust the opinion of boxers and former boxers, former coaches, current coaches. Shout out my man, Jay Leon. I talk to him all the time. Shout out Coach Pad, man. Shout out Coach Fareed. These are guys I trust. Yeah. As long as you're, as well as yourself, uh, these yeah. are guys I trust yeah. to help me grow. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I've studied, yeah. but I can study all I want. I don't know what it's like to have to slip this jab. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I get punched. I'm ready to bite, and kick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. like you said, for, again, it goes back to what I was saying as far as you being your own teammate. You have to make those adjustments, mm-hmm. even when you have a trusted coach in your corner. You can listen to what he has to say, but you have to execute it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, um, it, you know, when, when Ryan, uh, to me, in my opinion, I think Ryan's whole fight plan kind of changed after he got up. Mm-hmm. I think he said, okay. Now, when it comes to habitual stuff, stuff yeah. you're comfortable with, yeah. a lot of times we fall back into what's just comfortable for us sure. in, in times of... In, in times of need, in times of danger, yeah. uh, you know, it just it just happened, and then 
Tank got the. But, hey, let's go back real quick because uh, when you and when you look at his face right here, I didn't get a sense that that Ryan was intimidated or had, you know, quote unquote, fear of Tank. I thought that he was comfortable and confident in what he could do. Yeah. And I think that, um, you know, if anything, it's like, and we'll, we'll just play on the analogy of driving in the car and you just got your temps. It's your first time really getting behind the wheel and then you got to get on the highway. Really think about the first time you got on the highway. Oh, it was scary. And so it takes a couple rounds for you to get kind of for the sake of where it's comfortable. Yeah. You know what you know you know what you're doing until you get on the highway. It's just a little the speed's That's a little a great bit analogy. the speed's a little bit different. That's a great analogy. You know analogy. what I mean? Yeah. The cars are a little all of a sudden the cars are a little bit bigger. You know what I mean? There's cars left and right. You know what I mean? So, and again, like I'm not trying to come to his defense. However, and I use the I, I use what I consider to be a very strong word that carries a very strong, a strong negative connotation with it. Mm-hmm. I use the word fear. And I knew that I was going to use that word because I, t- I tweeted it the night that the, of the, of the fight. I, I tweeted it the moment that, you know, he didn't get up. And, and it's interesting because when I saw the fight last night in the main event, when Zapata put down um, our Abeleda, I was like, oh. I was like, well, that Ryan fight could have gone one or two ways. Now, as a fan, we a lot of people just really wanted to see, you know, they wanted to see that that lion jump on the zebra at that point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he sacrificial and, lamb. And he robbed you of it. I'm sorry, <laughs> but may, maybe he's smart enough to know that he shouldn't he shouldn't give you guys the the satisfaction of seeing him in his weakness. Seeing him in, you know what I mean, his in 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 his most vulnerable state, because Arbeleta was literally on the canvas, face first, for the second words, damn near about to roll around, you know. 